RPM is back in the West this week for the second part of the Safety Direct Galway International Rally, an event celebrating its 40th birthday, as well as the 21st birthday of the historic rally. These older cars are divided into three sections, the first being labelled the Historic Class, which caters for cars registered before the 1st of January 1968. The Mini Cooper S is the most popular in this class, and the Mini was synonymous with the early days of the Galway Rally, as was the Tully Homan Flyer for Manor's Mervyn Johnson, who so nearly won in 1972. But he did win the first historic event in 1991, the first of three historic wins in a row. The five times Irish Historic Tarmac Rally champion, and Galway Historic winner, is back once again with a Mini Cooper S in 2011. The post-historic Class C is for cars registered between the 1st of January 1968 and the 31st of December 1974, with the Mark 1 Escort and a Porsche 911 amongst the favourites. Indeed, these cars in their heyday, with legends such as Billy Coleman at the wheel and 1975 winner Desi McCartney in the Porsche, thrilled the crowds in the 70s and will now thrill them today in the historic event. The post-historic Class D, or Classic as it's often referred to, caters for cars built between the 1st of January 1975 and the 31st of December 1981, with the Mark II Escort the favourite. Indeed, the Mark II scored wins in 76, 77, 78 and 79 before the Chevette HS and HSR took over, with wins in 1980, 81 and 84, whilst the Ascona 400, which won Galway in 1982, is also a machine eligible in this class. There's no doubt the Mark II is the most popular, and also with the modified men in the Galway National Rally as Tom Flaherty is first away. And first Galway seed in the main event, his 2.5 Millington engine machine. Moonlight on Galway Bay, but the weather forecast for the two days ahead doesn't make pleasant reading as Ireland takes us to the always intriguing capital of the West. The Corrib is in full flow. the normally bustling ancient streets of Galway are deserted as rally day dawns. However, you'll always find a tune in the air in this city of many entertainments. From the city to the Galway countryside, as the national rally crews head for the first three stages, the historics joining in on the second loop. Local crew Tom Flaherty and Patrick Curley are first onto the stages with their 2.5 Mark II Escort and are fastest by six seconds on the Triton Charge Balifa opener. By stage three, Tom's lead is 22.3 seconds and although he doesn't have many of his Mark II mates to play with this weekend, there are still challenges to be wary of. Pat Kelly is one such challenge in his modified class Subaru and he initially lies third, 26 seconds back after three stages. Peter Hiley's much modified Starlet is running well on stage one. But on stage two, Peter modifies it considerably more. It's a big off, and next on the road is Eamon Dervin with his escort, who's being caught by the 1600 modified Civic of Jason McSweeney, who's an early fifth in the Nationals, with Dervin sixth. They have a slight hold up on stage two, as amazingly, Peter Howley limps off the stage with a rather tired startup. It's a little frustrating for Dervin and McSweeney. But that's rallying. Early chargers in the national field are young Galway crew Richard and Sarah Whelan, who had their 1600 Civic in second, 22 seconds behind Tom Flaherty, despite a big moment on stage one. Neil Pearce in the Safety Direct Honda is currently seventh in the national field, but he's set to climb higher. Goals, Jeffrey Dolan is fourth with his two metre sunbeam. He finished second in the Irish Tarmac Rally Championship Modified Challenge last year and is aiming to contest it again this year. David Quigley is going to be top Honda soon. 
Alan Fair is also Honda mounted, an added incentive for these drivers being prizes for the first three Hondas home. Indeed, the Honda winner will receive 500 euros and two Pirelli rally tyres. Second place, four Hankook rally tyres. Third, set of carbon Lorraine brake pads, meaning it's all to go for in Galway. It's Tom Flaherty who's at the front in the national rally, but the historics join in at the front of the main field on stage four as Brian Brophy, who competed in the very first Galway International, leads the cars of yesteryear. We leap aboard Alan Courtney's 1981 Porsche 928S. County Antrim driver's Porsche is thought to be unique in that it's reckoned to be the only historic rally example competing in the world. Co-driver Paul Souter is on his first ever rally and with the addition of a misted windscreen and 300 horsepower being transmitted through the rear wheels, it's a fairly interesting combination. But they start off fifth overall in the historic field. Mike Devine in his Mark I Escort RS 2000 is eighth. Now Keane in his rare Avenger Tiger is sixth, three places ahead of the RS 2000 of County Antrim's Aidan O'Connor and Ian Regan. But the similar car of Galway's Martin Creven ends up swapping ends on the opening test. He's out of sight but not out of mind. Martin recovers from this misdemeanor. But he won't make it through the first loop of three special stages. Travelling all the way from the USA to compete is Vincent Frontinen, who's originally from the Azores. But with Galway co-driver Derek Parr, this multinational effort is also an early casualty. Mini legend Mervyn Johnson and co-driver Wendy Blackledge are seventh and first in their class. Also starting well are James Parr and Declan Kelly with their escort. Third overall in the historic field at this point. Second fastest overall in the opening Balifa test, Rapid Ray Cunningham and Adrian Cusack. But a broken radiator sidelines this fast Galway crew on stage two. Fastest of all this morning, however, are Ed Murphy and John McCarthy with their BDA post-historic escort. The Kerry driver commands a 1 minute 13 second lead as he heads for first service. Seamus Burke is another visitor from the USA. Despite visibility issues, he lies fourth. But fellow USA resident Frank Cunningham will retire his Mark I Escort RS 1600 on this first loop. The engine sounding a little sick here. Commanding second place early on is English visitor James Sutherland on his first visit to the Galway Rally. In his 280 horsepower 3 litre Porsche, he pars the steaming Stuttgart steamroller through the floods as the crews head for service in Oran Moor and the national field tackles stages 4 to 6. Flaherty has the hammer down. He's made serious improvements to his escort over the winter months. Also changed to Kumo tyres for this weekend. And he stretches his lead to 30 seconds, despite two small spins on stages four and five. Second place Richard Whelan is about to fall by the wayside when he goes off backwards in stage five, also handing over the lead of the Honda Challenge. And that lets Pat Kelly into second. 30 seconds behind the leader, but it could have been closer but for this stage four puncture. Jeffrey Dolan is now up to third, one minute 39 behind the leader with the Vauxhall engine Sunbeam. Jason McSweeney, who was ahead of Jeffrey, retires on stage five, the Brennan's Bread Chantalo stage. Eamon Durvin moves up to fourth with a fastest national time on stage six, the Pat Kelly plumbing and heating Tyquin stage. Neil Pierce is now the top modified Civic in fifth, but second Honda overall behind the Civic of David Quigley, which is running in the international event. Jonathan Follin is making a splash with his Subaru, as John Keneally and Michael Cunningham keep close company.
we join the sideways antics of the national historic categories on the Safety Direct Galway Rally after the break.